everybody, I'm here with Sarah Turner, the red light therapy expert, and I'm asking her different questions about how red light therapy can be used for different conditions in the human body. So muscle and joint recovery, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how does it work? How does red light therapy help support recovery in muscles and in joints? Yes, red light therapy does work for muscles and joints, but you need to have uh, near infrared light. Okay. So there's two types of red light therapy. There's red and there's near infrared. So red light is fairly superficial. It's skin deep and it's good for all those skin conditions we were Wounds talking about. Acne Wounds. But then if you want to get to joints, you need near infrared, which is a slightly longer wave. It's deeper. It goes deeper. And also you need a device like this, which is flexible. Okay. Because you need to have the light actually bending round so that you're getting all angles for the joint. So for example, if you wanted to put this here on an elbow, you can see how you're getting the light is going to penetrate all angles and get deep into that joint. I see. So this is a benefit of the LumaFlex and the flexibility of the, of this actual this band, right? This this flat yes. plate, right? The flexibility can wrap around the muscle or the joint area, and basically, like it can give you the best bang for your buck when it comes to red light therapy. You're in sort of optimizing the the uh, the amount of red light that goes to that area, right? Whereas if it's a flat surface, it can it can bounce off. That's right. Yeah, you're right? going to get you're going to get a much greater dose right to the target site if you can contour the device around, and if you're using those two wavelengths like this one. So you need the red and the near infrared. So there you heard it, right? To support joint and muscle recovery, red light therapy using the LumaFlex, which is a flexible device like this, right? can actually boost your, your recovery much quicker.